Hey guys, it's Paul again with a, another VHS review. Last time I did the atrocious shot on video film, Death Nurse. I um, also spoke a little bit about its sequel. In that movie, Miller didn't even put any effort into it. He just wanted to slop something together. He, it's not even an hour long. I mean, it's not even an hour and a half long. It's not even a feature length movie. But this time, I have a very sort after film. And sort after, not because it's rare, which it is, but because it's actually a pretty good movie for a shot on video film of the 80s. It's 555. Now this is the original uh, 555 VHS. Um, it was independent, independently distributed by Wally Cos himself, the producer-director. Um, well, I believe so because it was it's the only film on this uh, video label, which is Slaughterhouse Productions or uh, King Video. Either one of those. I'm not sure which one, but most people call it uh, Slaughterhouse Productions. Um, as you can see, the box is pretty cool, so let me discuss the box a little bit. It's bright pink and has an awesome picture on the front of a decapitated head. Now, that, of course, it's going to attract attention. It's just cool. There's not that many boxes that have an actual screenshot of the movie of a decapitated head. There's lots of drawings of decapitated heads, uh, paintings on VHS art, but this is an actual screenshot of a decapitated head. So that's cool. It's called 555 um, because, as you find out, the killer kills two people a night for five um, days or whatever. Let's see. It has some funny things on the box. The viewing may cause severe damage to your brain cells. See, Wally Cos seemed to have a lot of fun with this VHS release. Um, I don't know if he wanted to do it just for money or to have fun, but it seemed like he had fun making it. It's just the idea I got because when I look at death, something like Death Nurse, it just seems like nobody, j people just wanted to get it over with just to, just to have something to put out. Wally Cos put effort into it. He seemed to actually enjoy making this movie, as I'll discuss in a little bit. But, um, we got 555 here. A lot of people, I've seen some other VHSs that, uh, um, original VHSs that have different labels. Um, this is mine, uh, 555, and the spine, um, also has a spine sticker, which says Slaughterhouse Entertainment slash King Video Productions. So, uh, copyright 1988. So, that's when the movie must have been made, 1988. Um, I got this for a lot of money on eBay, let me tell you. I got it for 50 bucks, I got this for. Um, in an uncut box, and that's how much it usually goes for. I've seen copies go for, like, uh, the lowest I've seen it go for was, like, 20 bucks. But, um, let's move forward about the movie itself. Okay, it's shot on video, as I said. Wally Cos wasn't shy about putting his name into the credits multiple times. Um, some filmmakers, like Milliard, will change their name just to make it look like it had a bigger uh, a bigger crew that made it and um, it actually opens up with a pink screen just like the box so I don't know if the pink was just like a theme that Wally Cos was going by or he just he chose p hot pink for the box because it attracted attention but the opening credits of the movie are uh, are on a hot pink background um, in the first ten minutes of the movie uh, you get two sex scenes already, and they're not really that good because it's a shot on video film. So when you see a sex scene on shot on video, it feels like someone's home movies, um, the home sex movies or whatever. So it's just it's not very appealing, and it's edited well, it's put together well. Just a few technical problems such as uh, let's see, you have the um, the screaming. You you hear screaming in the background but the girl's mouth is closed, stuff like that. The screaming is in sync. And some of the female victims, you, see, you hear the same screaming track for multiple female victims. So that was kind of weird. That was a technical problem I didn't like. But the overall gist of 555 feels like it's part slasher film and part noir film. And not noir film as in its look, but noir film as in its dialogue, because not only is it a slasher film, it's also like a detective story. Um, and there's also a subplot besides detectives trying to get this guy, this killer. Um, there's also a subplot with um, a female reporter who's trying to get information for a story or whatever. And, and she, she's funny because she has the most ridiculous lines. One of them is, I wrote it down, she says to uh, one of the detectives, uh, Listen to me, you stubborn Irish cocksucker. I'm too good a lay for any man to get rid of. <laughs> so it was just so funny lines like that. Um... The dialogue is really well written in this movie, I must say, and the acting is a million times better than Death Nurse. It was just so well 
I don't know. It was just so much better. I mean, it's not Hollywood acting, but it's certainly good. These guys really put a lot of effort into their roles. It wasn't like in Death Nurse where Edith Mortley's just slugging around, just uh, looks like she's reading lines off a of paper. It's nothing like that. It's it's actually pretty good. There's some noir humor in it, uh, the kind of detective uh, humor. Um, the movie is graphic. It's it's gory, as the box suggests. I like the death scenes. You get to see this awesome decapitation. You get some stabbings. And the gore effects, they seem to have been done pretty well. About Wally Kaz himself, uh, this was his only movie. And he distributed it independently. He could have easily gotten anybody to release this movie because it was put together really well for a Sean and Video film. Um, the music is really good. I mean, it's synthesizer and keyboards, but for what it is, it's pretty good. Um, it's catchy. It's not the same, um, the same melody over and over again. So that was that was cool. Um, for any fans of this movie, like myself, you would actually be able to find Wally Kaz's email online, and you'd be able to email him, and he'd be so cool. He'd you know send you pictures of behind the scenes and stuff. And um, unfortunately, he had died a couple of years ago, though. So that kind of sucks because it kind of. Uh, it's gonna get it's gonna it's gonna get more difficult to see this on DVD ever. So it's pretty obscure, and it'll probably remain obscure until someone gets the rights from his estate um, to release 555 on DVD. Um, what more to say about this movie? I don't know. It's a really cool movie. I like it. Like I said, I paid 50 bucks for it, but if you're lucky, you can get it for cheaper. It might be in a cut box, but it's a cool movie to have. That's 555. It's in a cool box, cool artwork, pretty cool movie for what it is, shot on video. And um, this has been Paul with Slasher Index, and I uh, look forward to seeing more reviews because I got a bunch, so. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Don't stop. Oh, please. Mm.